Hello and welcome back to The Motif. Today follows the historic Saudi Grand Prix in Jeddah, and in this one we'll be rounding up the F1 where Hamilton and Verstappen were going head to head, quite literally at some points. We hope you enjoy the video and would hugely appreciate feedback in the comments. Lewis Hamilton won a crazy, twice halted Saudi Arabian Grand Prix for Mercedes on Sunday to go level on points with Red Bull rival Max Verstappen and set up a winner-takes-all title showdown. On a chaotic night in Jeddah, the first race in the Gulf Kingdom took almost as many twists and turns as an already astonishing and enthralling roller coaster season, and also left a bitter aftertaste. There were crashes and collisions, safety cars, red flags, and claims of dirty driving after seven times world champion Hamilton hit the back of Verstappen's suddenly slowing car on the superfast Corniche street circuit. Extraordinary and, at times, angry radio exchanges between the race director, Michael Massey, and the two top teams filled the airwaves. With a bonus point for the fastest lap, Hamilton moved alongside Verstappen at the top of the standings with 369.5 points after 21 races. Verstappen, who finished second with Valtteri Bottas third for Mercedes, leads 9-8 on wins, however, meaning that the Dutch 24-year-old will be champion if neither he nor Hamilton scores another point. Mercedes extended their lead in the Constructors' Championship to 28 points and a record eighth successive title looking likely. The final race will be in Abu Dhabi this coming weekend. The Brake Test Hamilton had started on pole but twice lost out to Verstappen who began the day eight points ahead at the standing restarts. The Dutch driver was ordered to hand back the lead for going wide as Hamilton tried to pass on lap 37, but when he slowed, Hamilton ran into the back of him. He just brake tested me. I've just hit him, man. My wing's broken, exclaimed the Briton. That was dangerous driving, dude. Stewart summoned both drivers after the race and found Verstappen predominantly to blame, handing him a 10-second penalty. That changed nothing. The Dutchman did hand back the lead on lap 42, but took it back immediately. Stewards then gave him a five-second time penalty for leaving the track and gaining a lasting advantage, but Verstappen again let Hamilton through. We didn't need to do that, Max, said his race engineer. Mercedes told Massey they had not been given sufficient time to inform Hamilton that Verstappen would give back the place, and the Red Bull driver was also furious. What happened today is unbelievable, and this sport is more about penalties than racing. For me, this is not Formula One. He fumed after being told he had been voted driver of the day. Red flags The red flags first came out on lap 14 after a safety car period triggered by Mick Schumacher crashing his Haas. That played into the hands of Verstappen, who stayed out while Hamilton pitted from the lead for fresh tyres to take advantage of the safety car deployment. The advantage disappeared, however, when the standing restart triggered more chaos. Hamilton made the better getaway, but Verstappen went off track to keep the lead, with Alpine's Esteban Ocon, who finished fourth after being pipped by Botas at the end, forcing his way into second place. I had to avoid a collision there, exclaimed Hamilton. He, Verstappen, cut across the whole curb. He just overtook me outside of the white lines. The race was halted a lap later when Haas's Russian rookie Nikita Mazepin and Williams's George Russell collided while Verstappen's teammate Sergio Perez was tagged by Ferrari's Charles Leclerc and spun. Massey offered Red Bull the opportunity to line up on the grid for the third standing start behind Hamilton with Ocon in the lead. You'd be back behind Lewis, said the Australian. That's my offer. We accept that came the reply from Red Bull's team manager, Jonathan Wheatley. Verstappen seized the lead again, with Hamilton passing Ocon, and the battle was on, punctuated by more virtual safety car periods. Get in there, Lewis! Hamilton's race engineer shouted at the checker flag. That has got to be the craziest race I can remember. The cool heads won that out. 
Australian Daniel Ricciardo finished fifth for McLaren, ahead of Alfa Tauri's Pierre Gasly and Leclerc. Ferrari's Carlos Sainz was eighth, with Antonio Giovanesi ninth for Alfa Romeo and Lando Norris tenth for McLaren. We hope you enjoyed our Saudi F1 roundup. If you've got the time to share this around, we'd be hugely appreciative, and we look forward to getting more content out for you very soon. Looking forward to seeing you in the next one.